Ambassador Haley is joining us now. Ambassador, thanks for your time this afternoon. You called this the single largest economic sanctions package leveled against North Korea. Do you expect a different result from these sanctions? Well, thank you very much for having me. First of all, it's a new day at the UN. This was a day of action. This was a day where we stopped all the talk. And this is the day where we said to North Korea, they have to stop their irresponsible actions. And I think that what you saw today was a unanimous vote that said we're going to make sure that the North Korea understands what we're talking about. This resolution is the strongest um, resolution with sanction measures that we've seen in a generation. It will go after a third of North Korea's hard currency. It bans coal, it bans iron, it bans um, additional laborers that they can send overseas. It, it has quite um, huge implications to North Korea. We hope they take notice and we'll see what happens. But again, the question was, do you expect a different result from North Korea? Because we know time and again, sanctions have been imposed, sanctions have been increased, and yet North Korea's program continues to progress. Well, I think what everybody needs to understand is the revenue that goes into North Korea doesn't go in to feed its people who are starving. Right. Um, instead, what it's doing is it's going to fund the, the, the reckless nuclear program. So if we reduce the hard currency, we're reducing the funding that allows them to do that. Secondly, we hope that they take note. We hope that they realize this was the international community speaking in one voice, saying that this activity has to stop. They now have a decision to make. This was a gut punch to North Korea today. They can either now take heed and say, okay, let's stop. Let's start being responsible and let's see another avenue or they can continue what they're doing and the international community will continue to respond.